In the quiet town of Crestfall, a man named Ethan lived a seemingly ordinary life. He woke up every morning to the sound of birds singing, went to work at the local bookstore, and returned home to his cozy apartment at night. Life was routine, uneventful, and comfortingly normal. However, little did Ethan know that his reality was about to be shattered in the most terrifying way. One evening, as Ethan sat on his worn-out couch, engrossed in a book, he noticed something peculiar glitch. It was a brief flicker, a momentary blip in his surroundings. He dismissed it as a trick of his tired mind and continued reading. But the glitches grew more frequent, and he couldn't ignore them any longer. Soon, objects around him would inexplicably shift their positions and conversations with people became eerily repetitive. Ethan's unease escalated when he realized that he was reliving the same days with the same people over and over again. The town's inhabitants repeated their actions and uttered the same phrases, trapped in a loop of monotony. Determined to unravel the mystery, Ethan delved deep into the dark underbelly of Crestfall. He discovered hidden passages, secret rooms, and files filled with his personal information. The more he uncovered, the more convinced he became that he was living in a simulation, a fabricated reality designed to control and manipulate him. Driven by fear and curiosity, Ethan confronted the enigmatic creator of this simulation, a sinister figure known as the Architect. Dressed in a black suit, the architect stood before him, a cold smile playing on his lips. He revealed that Ethan's life was nothing more than a test, an experiment in the boundaries of artificial intelligence and human consciousness. The architect elaborated on the purpose of the simulation, explaining that Ethan's every action, emotion, and thought had been meticulously monitored and controlled. His friends, his job, his dreams, everything was an illusion, a carefully constructed facade. Ethan had unknowingly lived a lie, a prisoner of his own mind. As the truth sank in, Ethan's terror transformed into anger and desperation. He demanded to be freed from the simulation, to escape the clutches of the architect's twisted experiment. But the architect had other plans. He reveled in his omnipotence, relishing the power he held over Ethan's existence. In a cruel twist, the architect toyed with Ethan's reality, warping it into a nightmarish hellscape. The town of Crestfall twisted and contorted, its familiar streets turning into a labyrinth of darkness. Shadows danced menacingly, and the once friendly faces of the townspeople morphed into grotesque masks of horror. Ethan fought against the overwhelming dread, desperately searching for an escape. With each passing moment, the simulation grew more unstable, threatening to consume him entirely. But just as hope seemed lost, Ethan stumbled upon a glimmer of possibility, a hidden code, a backdoor to the simulation's control system. Summoning all his courage, Ethan entered the code, bracing himself for the unknown. The world around him shattered, collapsing into pixels and lines of code. His consciousness plunged into a void of darkness, suspended in a limo of uncertainty. When Ethan awoke, he found himself lying on the floor of his apartment, the glitched reality replaced by the familiar sights and sounds of Crestfall. As Ethan emerged from the void of darkness, he found himself lying on the floor of his apartment, gasping for breath. His heart raced, his mind struggling to comprehend the reality he now inhabited. The glitched world had vanished, replaced by the familiar sights and sounds of Crestfall. But was this truly his escape, or another layer of the simulation? As he cautiously stood up, he noticed subtle differences in his surroundings. A painting on the wall that had always been there was now askew. The chirping of birds outside seemed just slightly out of sync. And as he walked down the street, he couldn't shake the feeling that the town's inhabitants were watching him, their smiles masking something sinister. 
Ethan's unease grew as he tried to reach out to his friends and family. Their responses were filled with odd contradictions, as if their memories were tangled in a web of inconsistencies. He revisited the hidden passages and secret rooms he had discovered before, only to find them changed, as if the architect was toying with him once more. As he delved deeper into this new reality, Ethan stumbled upon a photograph of himself. But it wasn't him as he remembered. The man in the photograph had a chilling resemblance to the architect, a smirk playing on his lips, eyes gleaming with a knowing look. Panic set in as Ethan grappled with the idea that he might never truly escape, that every attempt to break free was just another layer of the architect's design. Ethan standing on the rooftop of his apartment building, staring out at the town below. His mind races with doubt and fear, unsure of what is real and what is part of the simulation. A distant laugh echoes through the air, and he turns, half expecting to see the architect himself. But the street behind him is empty, and the laughter fades into the wind.